Welcome to Trending Stocks. Kindly subscribe to my channel for the latest market updates and also the multi bagger tips. Yesterday, also, I updated um, two videos one is for uh, Central Bank of India, and also the other video I have specified Indian Overseas Bank, uh, Bank of uh, India, and also Bank of Maharashtra. All the four banks are um, included in this privatization bus. All these uh, four banks are worth to buy at this level or not. So, we are going to discuss all this. So, kindly subscribe to my channel if you are the first time visitor and also uh, try to watch the video till end you can see here government uh, to bring amendments to to act enable privatization of PSU banks so government um, they, they are working on that so you can see that um, this news was published in February 16 so after um, the budget it was published but uh, many of them many of us uh, didn't notice this so it is uh, according to this news yesterday I told you that there are two news has came one is that um, state go um, uh, the, um, the, the that means um, the central government employees of the uh, PSU banks are going to be shifted to state lenders like um, uh, PNB and uh, St State Bank of India. So that is the first one. And the second amendment was uh, embargo lifting. You can see here private banks can get government business, says uh, Nirmala Sidharaman. So this is to support um, uh, this thing private banks, that means private lenders to get attracted on. Um, uh, government uh, bank uh, this thing liquidation so they to uh, um, to get a higher bid so the already they have done that already they lifted so these two are uh, supporting right now and uh, today some news has came uh, not worried about the rating agencies say narula sidaram they are very active i believe okay then we will uh, just today we, now we will uh, discuss about um, this thing what we'll call uh, how the uh, uh, this thing uh, all these four uh, shares are traded today and what will be the uh, short term target and what will be the long term target so indian overseas bank you can see here 30 percentage delivery was happened and almost uh, four crores are delivered sorry traded and uh, bank of india you can see it is uh, closed in low uh, that means uh, negative and you can see almost 32 percentage are um, uh, traded that uh, sorry delivered and the bank, bank of maharashtra it is closed in upper circuit 10 percentage and 29.51 percentage um, delivered and uh, central bank of india uh, you can see here it is closed in upper circuit 5 percentage and 90.595 percentage is uh, delivered so uh, now we are going to discuss what will be the short term target and what will be the long term target so the short term target for um, central bank of india you can see here um, last seven days you can see if we see the volume as i told yesterday the 26.40 was the highest volume traded so around uh, 25 to 30 uh, percentage uh, will be the higher that means uh, the short term target so let us say around 34 to 35 will be there and long term target will be around 95 so this already i told uh, this is good share to buy out of four um, psu bank and bank of maharashtra try to ignore this bank at this level maybe there will be one or two upper circuit will happen uh, after that because um, uh, don't expect uh, much on this and uh, you can see here bank of india also try to avoid this one so maybe one or two upper circuit will happen based on the news after that it will start to fall and you can see indian overseas bank uh, this is a good stock to buy so this will be the uh, you can see here the target will be somewhere around uh, 64 to 70 we can expect in long term and also around you can see here the last uh, uh, highest volume was uh, sorry highest volume was traded around um, 19th uh, 19 february that was 20.65 so around the 24 to 25 we can expect a short term target and uh, it will reach up to 64 to 70 in long term so try to accumulate the indian overseas bank and also central bank out of four other bank also may be performed maybe around 30 to 40 percentage you will get in bank of india and also bank of maharashtra but uh, this uh, central bank of india and um, indian overseas bank will give you multiple returns somewhere around uh, five to seven times return in a long time thank you very much